Hello everyone, it's time for another amazing charging curve and today we have something special. I have the Polestar 3 and the Volvo EX90. They're the same car, the same platform, the same battery. They eat, those two cars even had the exact same software, 1318. But the, the difference is you can charge both cars at a normal hypercharger, but the limit is 500 amp and in the Tesla supercharger you get more. So you get higher charging power at a Tesla supercharger. So in the Volvo uh, papers I have read that at a supercharger you should get 30 minutes, 10 to 80 percent, and on a hypercharger 32 minutes. So it should be two minutes faster. I have experienced something different. Um, I don't know what it was. I drove uh, with both ca both cars, so I, uh, I charged the Polestar 3 at Ionity and the Volvo EX90 at a Tesla supercharger. With both cars at a similar temperature day, I drove 130 kilometers an hour range test. I arrived at the charger with 8% and then plugged both cars in and charged to 80% and the Tesla curve was not great. It took 33 minutes. Why? I don't know. If your company has electric cars as company cars, of course you want your employee to charge at home. It's cheaper for you and it's easier for the employee. Tronity has a software solution for you to know how much you have to pay your employee for charging at home. With the fleet manager you manage your employees and your cars. Tronity connects to the cars and knows exactly when the car is charging at home and how much. And then you get an easy monthly bill for your employee. If you want to know more, there's a link in the description below. Here's the Ionity screen and the Tesla screen comes later because I had a camera malfunction but I synced them up and we get 258 kilowatt at the Tesla it goes down but then up again and we have a peak of, of the 190 something kilowatt here at Ionity and as you can see after seven minutes we are at 31 percent and here 30 percent so it's almost the same but then the Tesla charging session goes really down 140 kilowatt we're here we still have 180 kilowatt even though I had a little dip we'll see that in the curve and now after 15 minutes I'm here at 47% here at 50 so I'm better here at Ionity I don't know what happened cooling should be okay um, maybe too many cars charged at the Tesla supercharger I think there were two other cars um, and it's a version 3 supercharger so I don't know what happened and now at 25 minutes we are here 65 here 68 percent I get 126 kilowatt but here too at the end they're exactly the same we'll see that in the curve and the kilowatt hours charge too. Here it's 77, here 80 kilowatt hours. So I don't know, the tester charging session just didn't work. Then I have here my charging curve. And as you can see in the beginning, supercharger, amazing, way above what a hypercharger can do. But then from 15%, no, I don't know what that is. Um, uh, it's always above till they meet at 55% or so um, and I even had a little dip in the Polestar 3 curve where it went down for a second and came back up I don't know why this is so low it should be almost the same here then it would be that minute faster because of this uh, two minutes faster because of this beginning I don't know and I can see that even with the kilowatt hours 80 kilowatt hours charged in 30 minutes on uh, Ionity and in the, at the Tesla it's 33 minutes, a bit less, 32 and a half minutes, something like this. I don't know what happened. And therefore, like I said, 10 to 80 percent at Ionity, 32 minutes, exactly what Volvo says should happen, but at Tesla 33 minutes. Then let's compare the charging curves to other cars. And I looked all the cars that I have tested. There's only one car with a similar size battery and not 800 volt system. And 800 volt is just totally different. So uh, an Audi Q6 or SQ6 or a Kia uh, EV9, they just charge way better. 
the times are way fast, they're not 32 minutes or 30 minutes, it's 18 minutes or 20 minutes or something like this. No, it's not 18, just 20, <laughs> which is amazing. And the only car I found is the BMW iX M50. But this charging test has been done a long time ago. A few years ago there has been a new version of the iX. It may charge very different. But back in the day you can see it here. So I have in blue Tesla charging curve, in red Polestar 3 at the Ionity and in uh, yellow the BMW iX um, at Ionity. And it's the same beginning because both have similar voltage but 500 amp limit and then the Polestar is better at the end. So the Polestar and the Volvo charge better at Ionity than an old BMW iX. And you can see that with the kilowatt hours charged as well, BMW on the bottom, then Tesla supercharger, I don't know what happened, and then Ionity. But now let's get to the range added over time. So I took the kilowatt hours charged over time and then the average consumption I had at 130 kilometers an hour range test with the cars. The Polestar 3, it's the performance version, but I drove it in range mode, had 290 watt hours per kilometer. The Volvo EX90 Twin, not the performance. Also in range mode at 280 watt hours per kilometer. The BMW iX I tested in the winter and it had 283. So I'm estimating without heat and summer tires and, and, and better temperatures around 250. Lower consumption because it's the same consumption as the Volvo EX90 but in the winter with heat and like I said. And therefore when I then look a range added, the BMW is just better because it's very similar in charging but has lower consumption and the other two are just very very similar, there's almost no difference. So again, I have no idea what happened at the Tesla supercharger, it should be two minutes faster and I expect that it's just the bottom, so till 15% where it's just higher and then the same. This is what I'm expecting. So if you plug in a 20 or even exactly at 15%, I don't think there's a difference. So if it's about time, then uh, uh, after 15% there's not much difference. If it's about payment, of course, how much it costs, then it's up to your plan. Um, but they charge okay for a 400 volt system. It's a gigantic battery and it takes its time. 32 minutes, 10 to 80% is not extremely fast. So they both are desperate in need for an 800 volt system and Volvo already said they will put an 800 volt battery in the EX90. It needs that and then I'm pretty sure the times will go down to 22, 23 minutes. That's a lot, seven minutes faster. And hopefully Polestar 3 gets that as well. It's the same platform, same battery. If you want to follow me on Instagram, BatteryLife1, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes on my third channel, Behind the Battery, I'm starting a vlog where you can see what's happening with the cars at home and what I'm doing. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.